Y'all, what's good? Uh, today's topic is a little saddening, but we're still going to talk about it, though. The topic today is Young Dolph was shot and killed in Memphis. So, uh, if y'all don't know who Young Dolph is, Young Dolph is a um, hip hop rapper. He's 36 years old. He's well developed, you know. His right hand man, Key Glock, um, you know, he has his own thing going on. Uh, he helped out a lot, you know. Before I even mention how he was shot and killed, let me just mention something real quick. As y'all know, I be dancing and stuff, right? Y'all knew this already. Well, I literally watched him literally do a challenge for $25,000 and give it to a dancer that was grinding. And the dancer that was grinding, well respected. Um, If you don't know, you don't know. But it just showed that there was a rapper that cared. Because there's a lot of rappers that we literally promote. You know, me and my other dancers that I dance with, you know. And they never helped us. They never, you know, took it out the way to, you know, put us on or do anything, you know, that when they could, you know what I'm saying, we did a lot for their song as far as promoting and getting people to listen to it. So to see him go out his way and give somebody $25,000 just to jumpstart, just to get into their groove with dancing, we're not talking about nothing else, not another rapper, not signing nobody, literally a dancer, just off the strength of him just doing a challenge and just dancing to your song, that just showed me that he cared about the community. You know, that's not the only thing he's ever just, you know, gave money away for like um he's gave money to schools and other rappers other people other organizations and stuff like that so the dude was well developed and he gave back to his community if anything but let's get it straight into why he died and how he got shot well first off this wasn't the first time he got shot which i will get into and i will give the facts and just well not the facts but just my own opinion about the situation but anyways um yesterday i believe Depending on when I post this, yesterday afternoonish, a young Dolph was going to get cookies at a shop, right? You know, it's just a spot that he always goes to, you know, and it's just a go-to place he goes to in the hood, in his community, you know what I'm saying? Um, When he gets to the shop, a car drives up, shoots him, drives off. We're not sure um if he, if they got out the car, if they just did like a drive-by type shooting, but they definitely pulled up, shot him at the, uh, cookie shop, well, bakery, basically, and he was shot and killed right there, it, that simple, uh, the reports are coming from the owner of the cookie, of the bakery place, so that's all we know, as far as that, was that he was just trying to get some cookies at the spot that he just get his cookies at, it wasn't no other stuff, now, it's not surprising to me that he got shot and killed, and the reason I say this is because he played with fire, that, that's my opinion, but I gotta keep it a buck. He played with fire, bro. He played with death, and he kind of got what he asked for when, when when you see what he used to do back in the day if you used to watch him. I used to watch him a long time ago, like four years ago. And if you know four years ago, his his car got shot up 100 times. Like I said, this is not the first time he got shot up. He got real ops. He one of those real rappers that really do real thug stuff. Like, he, re- he really about that life that he talk about. Well, anyways, his car got shot up a hundred times, but he was able to survive because it was bulletproof. Well, when this incident happened, he started calling himself bulletproof. He started making songs and, and diss tracks and making songs that, like, ton it. The people that shot him, like, boy, if that's, if y'all better come harder than that, boy, I don't play that. How y'all gonna shoot up a bulletproof uh, car? Like, is y'all crazy? Y'all better step y'all game up like he really was taunting them suckers like to like engage into some more shooting like the dude was really asking for more people to shoot like like acting like he was untouchable you know that's the rapper's game so i didn't think nothing of it i'm just like you know these rappers these days don't get freaked he acting like six nine you know what i'm saying um he also got shot in another incident there was another incident where he got shot again this is not, i'm not even talking about the same same incident where he got shot a hundred times on a bullet, bulletproof car this is another time we actually got shot three times, I believe, and he was in critical condition. He, I mean, he got to leave the hospital uh, quick and fast. It was a quick repair, but we're not going to act like he did not get shot, if I'm not mistaken. Now, you correct me if I'm wrong, but I remember he got shot three times by some randoms. It could have been his ops, and he was in critical condition in the hospital. I, I think Say Cheese and Academics posted him, and we're like, a pray for a young dog. So this wasn't the first time he got shot. So he's been getting shot, and even after that, he got shot in critical condition. He still was taunting the situation like I can't die. I can't. Um, I'm um, 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 
of unshootable. Like, y'all boys' bullets is weak. Like, he's laughing at they bullets and stuff. So, he did a lot of taunting and, and you know, playing with fire. Like, you, you asking for it. You, you playing with people that are trying to shoot you, bro. They going to really get down on you. And so, anyways, years later, he finally gets in this incident. You know what I'm saying? People been waiting for his ch- they chance to get him. And them suckers finally got their chance. And they got him kind of like a, um, everybody's uh, comparing it to a Nipsey Hustle type situation. Because it was in his own community. And everybody always says this. If you get rich, you got to get out your community. If you get wealthy, if you get anything positive out your life successful, you need to get out while you can if you're in the hood. And I feel like a lot of rappers always show love to the hood and give back. But you got to get out as soon as possible, bro. Only bad things happening to just going to your community. I feel like help at a distance, man. Sending the money to the organizations, let them do their job and let them put their life at risk. You can continue what you're doing in another state, in a better environment. Um, that's pretty much it as far as the topic. I feel like, like I said, he gave back to his community and he did a lot of things that people, you know what I'm saying? Like even that was in my field of career and he helped out in so many ways, bro. I mean, like he was inspiring. You, there's no way you could take that away. I feel like uh, as far as rapping, I'm not going to say he fell off or nothing, but, like, he wasn't in the spotlight like these other new age rappers because, you know, there's so many young rappers coming in the game. But he was the rapper that you got to respect. And you, if you a hood thug dude, you, you gassing that key lock and that, um, uh, that, that young doll 100%. You know what I'm saying? Getting paid getting paid, if you know what I'm saying, I ain't gonna say the rest of those, those lyrics, but you know, you know, hey, you know what he was about, he was about his money, um, you know, he did everything for that check, and you know, like I said, he gave back, and that's the main thing, uh, he asked for it, though, I will be real with you, I am I just gotta hear you my opinion, he asked for it, bro, for the things he said and did in the past, bro, especially after you get shot, bro, you're just supposed to keep quiet and just, you know what I'm saying, he went on, like, Breakfast Club, and these social media, these podcasts, and, and spoke stuff, you know, he exaggerated, what do you call it, like, he, um, like, put fire on fire, like, what, what do you call that when you, you instigated it, he instigated the situation a little bit, and kind of laughed at the people that shot at him, so we're like, who knows if those are the same people, it could be a different option, but the ops could be like, well, we ain't finna get laughed at, like those one dudes, let's make sure we come plan, organized, and a little bit stronger, you know what I'm saying, make sure we really put them down for real, so, Man, I kind of feel like he made the shooters that shot him at a high expectation, have a high expectation to, you know, execute the job instead of just free shooting. They made sure that they really hit a target this time. So, man, it is what it is. Rest in peace, young Dolph. Condolences to his family. And you know what I'm saying? Life must keep going. But that's the topic for today. Y'all put y'all two cents in. Um, like, share, and comment. Uh, sorry, you know what I'm that, that we had to hear something like this when it's a rapper, you know. They always, it's always a rapper, but, hey, it is what it is. Um, I'll catch y'all next topic. Y'all, this is a little side note I want to put in real quick. Uh, Young Dolph was under uh, Yo Gotti at the time, so he's real cool with Young Gotti. But they fell into a little, you know, a little feud, and they had their disagreements, at, you know, a couple times. And also, uh, Young Yo Gotti had another rapper that, you know, that he was helping too, Black Youngster. So... He definitely had, you know, problems with that, issues with Black Youngster and with Yo Gotti at times. I know that that got, you know, squashed and beef and handled it, you know what I'm saying? But they definitely had their problems. Well, anyways, with the situation happening with uh, Young Dolph getting shot, um, Yo Gotti's mom restaurant got shot up and Black Youngster's grandma's house got shot up. So that was just something to take into consideration. You know, for the whole incident happening, people probably was mad. And so they retaliated on those two rappers for some reason. It was weird. But also the mayor of Memphis and the governor, mayor or the governor, which I don't know which one it was, probably both of them, who knows. They put a curfew on Memphis for the situation of his murder. You know, just, just to stop crime for a little bit and just to calm everything down before it escalates to something bigger. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, the, that was good to hear, I guess, putting a... Um, Memphis on curfew, you know what I'm saying, just, you know, on, on Young Dolph's behalf, you feel, feel me, I think he would want that anyways, but yeah, uh, that'll conclude this video, like I said, I'll catch y'all next topic, you dig?